can we develop user-friendly forms of therapy for children that are destigmatizing and that equip them to manage really difficult mental health problems in a range of different areas and actually that a young person actually experiences the mental health intervention as a really positive uh, experience. We taught about using technologies that children are familiar with, such as a computer game, which is what our intervention is based on, and how that might make children's um, experience of a mental health intervention much more uh, accessible. It's a kind of a role-play computer game, so the young person is represented on an island uh, as a character and they meet other characters on the island who teach them core ideas about cognitive behaviour therapy uh, as they go through different levels of the game. What happens is the young person sits down in front of the computer and the therapist is sitting beside them and they play the game together over the course of six different sessions. And each of the levels of the game is designed to follow the same format. So what we do is we introduce the core idea uh, from cognitive therapy that we want to introduce in that particular session. So we try and explain that very simply. We then il illustrate that within the game by a fictitious previous player. Then the young person and the therapist think about what the characters have just told them and see how has that applied to the young person's life today and yesterday. So they work out, how would I apply that idea uh, to myself? And then the job of the young person, which they're given by the characters on the game, is to go and practice putting that idea into their life uh, to manage the difficulties that they're currently experiencing between now and their next appointment. And then they come back for the next week and they let the characters know how they've got on with their therapist sitting beside them and they work on to the next level of the programme uh, in that way. And I love that idea of uh, the scientific psychology where you actually take an important research question and you try and you develop a theoretical idea of how it works, then you assess that with the opportunity to discover that you might be wrong. And for me, that's the real hallmark of good scientific thinking.